Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. So use MS-10 capsule bounce to a stop after booster failure. AMA Expo debuts in Pomona, California. And NASA OIG report finds significant amount of historic artifacts lost. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's October 26, and this is Airborne Unlimited. The Soyuz MS-10 escape capsule that executed a ballistic descent after a booster failure on launch earlier this month hit the ground five times before coming to a stop. An anonymous source said that sensors of the re-entry capsule registered that it suffered five hits during the landing. That is, the spacecraft hit the ground, bounced several times, and rolled over. Experts have studied the sensors that are incorporated in the seats of each crew member. The short-term overload reportedly reached more than 10 Gs. Also, the crew could not get out of the capsule when it came to a stop, requiring rescuers to turn the spacecraft over using specialized equipment. Roscosmos said in a statement that the cause of the launch abort was likely a collision between the rocket's discarded first stage and the second stage of the booster. A deviation from the standard trajectory occurred, and apparently the lower part of the second stage disintegrated. The rocket stopped its normal flight, and after that, the automatic system did its work. Roscosmos Executive Director for Manned Flights, Sergei Krikalov, said, This could have been caused by the failure of the system of the normal separation, which should have been activated. We will analyze the causes in detail. The Russian investigation is ongoing. After the break, Pilatus opens new PC-12NG and PC-24 U.S. Completions Facility. The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit Plus engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news by at aero-news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Anticipating growth for its popular single-engine turboprop PC-12NG and the all-new PC-24 Super Versatile Jet, Pilatus Business Aircraft LTD recommits to its Colorado roots and the U.S. business aircraft market. Pilatus opens a brand new completion center in Broomfield in a ceremony at Rocky Mountain Metropolitan Airport. More than 200 Pilatus leaders, employees, dealers, suppliers, local and state government officials, and invited guests gathered for the official grand opening of the Pilatus Business Aircrafts, LTD's new aircraft completion center. A North American AT-6 Texan and World War II Luftwaffe livery went down Tuesday on the 101 freeway near Los Angeles, resulting in the total loss of the airplane. The pilot fortunately was pulled from the burning wreckage by passerbys and was safe. The plane hit a center divider on the roadway before coming to a stop and catching fire. The aircraft belonged to the Condor Squadron, a group which according to its website is a unique nonprofit organization founded in 1965 by a group of World War II fighter pilots. BRS Aerospace has named another five Cessna Parachute System Authorized Installation Centers in North America and South Africa to handle whole aircraft parachute installations on the Cessna 172 and 182 aircraft fleets. 
New Cessna installation centers approved by BRS Aerospace include Absolute Aviation Group in South Africa, Brand Aero in Brantford, Ontario, Canada, Clearwater Aviation in Clearwater, Florida, Total Avionics in Lantana, Florida, and Vector Air in Erie, Colorado. Several aviation education organizations in China have selected Frasca International Incorporated to provide flight training devices for their programs this year. New orders for 2018 include a Level 5 Archer flight training device for Chengdu Fanmei Aviation Industry Company LTD, located in Chengdu, Sichuan, a Cessna 172 Level 5 FTD, for Hebei Zishuan GA Company LTD, located in the Hebei Province, and a DA-40-42 G-1000 FTD for the First International Aviation Academy, located in the Jilin Province. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The 20th Annual AMA Expo West will be at the Fairplex Exposition Center in Pomona, California, for the first time on November 2nd through 4th with a new expanded program. This three-day event takes full advantage of Expo's new location with loads of family-friendly activities, including indoor and outdoor flying, a flying light show, drone racing, and much more. Additional attractions at the AMA Expo West include Fly Under the Stars, Utilizing the 8-acre outdoor flying field on Friday, November 2nd and Saturday, November 3rd. Competitive hobbyists and champions Ashley Heath and Jay Stusha will be featured in a flying light show. This field will also be open during the day and feature historic warbird air show and racing and combat competitions. Kids take flight on Sunday, November 4th. Kids ages 8 to 17 will have the opportunity to fly in an airplane at a nearby airfield. And guest speaker series. Attendees will hear firsthand from prominent members of the aviation community through the AMA Expo West speaker series. This year's guests include Al Bowers, chief scientist at NASA's Neil A. Armstrong Flight Research Center, and Mason Hutchinson, a design engineer with scaled composites. In addition, hundreds of exhibitors will be attending the expo, highlighting new products and offering demonstrations. After these messages, NASA OIG report finds significant amount of historic artifacts lost. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. NASA's Office of Inspector General has conducted an audit of the agency's historic property and found that a significant number of irreplaceable artifacts have been lost. The OIG found that NASA's process for loaning and disposing of historic personal property have improved over the past six decades, but a significant amount of historic personal property has been lost, misplaced, or taken by former employees and contractors. Reclaiming this historic property has proven challenging because of the significant effort required to find the property, as well as the agency's reluctance at times to assert an ownership claim over the items. For example, poor record keeping contributed to the agency losing possession of an Apollo 11 lunar collection bag that contained lunar dust particles. In one case, a USAF historian noticed what he thought was a NASA prototype lunar rover vehicle in a residential neighborhood and reported it to NASA, who reported it to the OIG. The individual in possession of the rover expressed interest in returning the vehicle to NASA. The OIG requested NASA assert ownership of the rover. 
However, after waiting more than four months for a decision, the individual sold the rover to a scrap metal company. NASA officials subsequently offered to buy the rover, but the scrapyard owner refused and, realizing its historical value, sold the vehicle at auction. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you Monday.